Hey guys, this is Keith with Rack and Rod Chronicles. Today we're going to talk about a target practicing system that we partnered up with this year. And this comes from Interactive Targets. It's made in USA. Uh, this model here is the Sniper GTS. Uh, it features uh, this front is a front steel plate. It's a 3 8 inch thick AR 500 steel. So this will take impacts from rifles, pistols, whatever, as long as you're at the correct range. Uh, it comes with spacers to offset this so it's angled down a little bit. I don't have it set up that way right now. When I put this up, it was still pretty cold in the wintertime and I was going to have a hard time getting everything to line up here. So I'll probably change that in the future here. Uh, and how this works is I'll bring a video around some back footage here in a minute. But there's a hopper here and this will hold 10 clay birds. Just your standard everyday clay throwers. And there's a hopper here and if they just go right down in it's got a track come right down here and then they come right out here in the bottom and that's where you actually want to shoot and these see these pieces here are actually replaceable it comes with extra ones when you buy it they're just rubber so it'll take impacts for a while when you finally shoot it up you put a new one in and they're pretty inexpensive uh to replace so so this is the sniper version there's a regular version where it just comes with a piece of white foam here and that's like a lightweight, you can make a nice lightweight uh, two by four, throw it in back your truck if you're going to the range, if it's not more permanent uh, use. And they have plans on their website how to make frames for them as well. Uh, I already had my 100 yard range here set up, so I just tacked it on next to it. This is kind of, for me, they'll use this more as a, a rifle target, not really a pistol. Uh, but you could, you could use it for either what you want. Just for me, I find it'd be better for that, for, my, for our uses here. Uh, and then they also make one you can just buy the rear hopper and you could use your own sheet of plywood on there or home assault like this on that there anything you want on the front to make another light version to make it more economical so i'll give you a little back view here what it looks like in the back how the hopper works and then we'll take a few shots here and you can see how it works all right all right guys as you can see we're in the back here so right here i'll just kind of pull one of these out here's your clay birds you can't really see them, they're orange on the front and the black in the back side here. But you're going to put them in here, and it's going to go right down this track, swing around, and go right down there. And this is that rubber piece that's replaceable. So it's a pretty simple design, and we're going to see how it works out here. So that's how it works. And like I said, it holds 10 clay birds, and it's pretty nifty. No power, nothing like that, but it gives you a little bit of action. You're always getting some action or something shooting there. It's uh, better than trying to hang them on a board or something pretty neat we'll see how it works all right guys we're all set up here with the interactive target we're about 25 yards away we got my little ruger 1022 here uh got 10 rounds in the mag got our safety glasses on got a hearing protection on so let's give it a whirl and see how it works All right, guys. Well, hope you like this. Uh, if you're in the market for a fun little target practice with your buddies up at camp or just at the range or with the kids, this would be definitely a fun, fun way to do it. Like I said, you could definitely get away without the steel one if you don't want to shoot the steel. But if you start making some mistakes and shooting up higher, you're going to put holes in your in the back piece there. Well, it looks like it would hold up pretty well, but as long as it doesn't get too much abuse. But all right, guys. Take care till next time.